Well, here I am putting my money where my big fat mouth is and buying a BSA Gold Star. I wasn't expecting to do a video just yet. I was looking to run the bike up. So I stopped to uh, take a break. This is my like first road test. I noticed these are a little bit wide. Side panels have popped out. What the heck? Wiltshire. Yeah, these are doing. Wiltshire, isn't it? So I took the BSA to uh, Rikers and Houston we're leaking. <laughs> oh great. And what is it? Wonderful. So I've stopped the BSA at the side of the road, essentially because of that leak that I've noticed. What well, was actually pointed out to me. <laughs> and uh, so getting a bit of a worry at the moment because it is pretty, pretty wet. And it smells funny, but it doesn't feel like engine oil. I don't know. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it. It's, it's coolant, isn't it? I'm losing coolant. Jesus. This motorcycle's got 800 miles on the clock. 800 miles. And uh, I'm only just getting to know it and I've got a coolant thing. This just sucks, man. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna see if it needs topping up or anything like that and uh, figure out what I can do. <sighs> to be fair, these sort of things shouldn't be happening to a modern motorcycle. I know mistakes can happen. I've bought this. I'm, I'm 48 hours into ownership of this motorcycle and we're leaking coolant already, which doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, what brand would stand up and say, yeah, yeah, buy a Honda, let's, let's say a Yamaha or something like that. And, it, and it's just puking coolant. Mistakes can happen, but this is common on the, the BSAs. So it's a bit of a disappointing start to BSA ownership. I am a little bit worried about it, but it looks like it's the reservoir that's leaking. So uh, all I can do is keep an eye on it and uh, ride safely. Let's keep moving. Debbie's kindly lent me an Allen key. So I can make a few adjustments as you can see here, we've already got damage to the headlight, thanks to this, what I'm going to guess is aftermarket. Thing my bob. This is the joy of aftermarket parts, look how far I've had to move it up, right? <laughs> and on this side, it's really, really low, and then that's how it fits. So I'm not moaning too much because uh, this is definitely aftermarket you, you can tell just by how rubbish it is and I'm pretty sure it's going to damage the paint right behind there more worrying is the coolant leak given that we have coolant in a reservoir and the caps on it is a pressurised system, so I can only assume that uh, the leak is a split in this in here somewhere. So all I'm going to do is just tidy things up a little with some kitchen paper so we can monitor it as I make my way home. Still having problems with the side panels. They're popped out all the time, all at their time. It's weird. Oh. So 
of how much these are, I probably don't even have them in inventory, but I don't really like the idea of the bike just popping off its side panels. And both of them keep popping off, that's why I've got fingerprints all here. What follows next is just a couple of videos from the East Sussex BSA Owners Club, and Debbie and I got to meet them and check out some of their bikes. <laughs> Here we are at uh, Fleet Services. So I've just come down the M3 and uh, if any of you know the M3 right now, you'll know that it's a 50 limit. And uh, I'm just gonna go and get some sustenance. Bike's looking okay right now, but things will change. So, I'm stopping every so often to check the coolant on the bike and uh, it just keeps emptying the uh, expansion tank. If it were a car, I would say it's got a head gasket problem that could be anything. I don't know these bikes. So, uh, yeah, I'll just keep stopping every 20 miles. I've got some bottles of water in my rucksack and uh, I'll just keep topping it up and hope that helps somehow. I haven't had an overheat warning light yet, so that's a good thing. To be fair, on one of the forums, somebody told me that there's actually a loose goose <laughs> that's, that could be causing that. So uh, Debbie being uh, Debbie sent me home with a Allen key. <laughs> take the cover off of the uh, coolant reservoir and uh, check it but uh, I better make a move because it's starting to get darker now and uh, I don't really fancy being at the side of the road having to deal with this. The more I look at this footage I realise that it's actually a combined leak not only on my little pool but it's also an oil leak. I've booked in with my local dealer, but it's weeks away from them looking at it. But I might just investigate further when I get it into my workshop. Can you see my leak? Having to stop at the services and top up its little tank. And when I say top it up, I mean I just top it to the low level. And then it's... Uh, is leaking somewhere. I'm going to Cornetto to uh, calm my nerves. <laughs> it's so frustrating with so few miles on the motorbike to be uh, leaking. So it's leaking in two different places. Ignore that white spot, I don't think that's anything to do with it, but those two. See, it seems to be particularly wet along here. It's not good. I'm absolutely soaked through. That's not the bike's fault, that's just the weather. I'm absolutely soaking wet and my boots are full of water and I'm just taking a few moments out underneath this uh, bridge because uh, the weather out there is shocking, it's absolutely awful and with the way that traffic is and uh, I've just got to take a few moments, even though I'm using a pin lock, 
you can see it's all gotten a little bit steamy. So safety says just pull over. Also, I need to top up the uh, coolant. And I don't mean top it up to the max. I just top it up to the low level. It's taking about uh, 750 mil. So it's not the ownership experience I was hoping for. It really isn't. I'm gutted. My money has bought that. My own bloody money. Oh, man. Ask me how happy I am. It shouldn't be this way. I should be... Uh, the video should be completely different. Not cool. Yeah, this isn't the ownership experience I was looking for. Um, uh, it's just been a little bit stressful. Someone on the, uh, the BSA forum said, oh, just keep topping it up and ride home with a smile on your face. But you'd think a modern motorcycle shouldn't be doing that. My stress levels are a little elevated, to be fair, but I know I'm about uh, 60 miles from home. I'm sure I can make it. I've got 250 mil of water left. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I'll have to pee in the bot in the in the. I've ridden for the last 50 miles in the wet, so that's that's a plus for the BSA. Yay! <laughs> it can ride in the wet. Uh, it's it's handling is questionable. It, it's actually scared me on a few occasions. Okay, so we're all topped up. Back on the road again.